This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hull back with me. How you doing, Robbie? Good, Mia. I, I am good. I am good. I always like when you bring a guest with me, so I'm going to hand it over to you and you can introduce your guest. Good morning, coach, and thank you for joining us this today. Thanks, Robbie. Glad to be here. Please tell us how you became involved with the Smith Falls Vitos. Well, actually, um, the owner, uh, I believe there was a group of uh, owner, which would be Rusty MacArthur, and a few of the players he had spoke to um, had all each approached me and, uh, and asked me if I would be interested in doing it. And obviously something I've always want to be a part of unfortunately hasn't been around for 30 years but uh was more than excited to be involved um didn't get an opportunity as a player so definitely as a coach would have been you know has been uh, a great experience for sure something different how many years have you been coaching um i started helping out with uh, some novice teams and adam teams when i was actually playing junior b back in the 80s and then once I finished college I started getting more involved um, so probably a good 30 years now probably uh, in different capacities more of a head coach probably the last 15 12 15 years but uh, for a lot of years I did a just a lot of assistant coaching and helping out and learning how to do it properly and how to deal with people I guess before the Vitos, what other teams have you coached? Um, kind of funny you ask that. I've actually coached um, Adam Novice, Adam Peely, Bantam, Midget, Junior B, uh, Boys. And in the girls' side, I've done Adam Peely, Bantam, and Midget. And in the boys, I did it a, a couple of times, different rotations. I would run with the team for four or five years and then go backwards for a little bit and run with another group. And so I've, I've actually, and this being senior hockey, it's the first time I've ever done senior hockey in, in all these years. But uh, yeah, it's been every, pretty much every rep minor hockey team we've had in town, I've had my hands on at some point. Can you tell us what your coaching philosophy involves? Um, a big part of, of what I like about hockey is if, if you've learned the game, what will happen in areas when you're in those areas. So the big trick is to be in those areas. Um, so just being actually reading the play, being a little bit smarter maybe than the average hockey player, looking into what will happen next. Um, and when you get into those areas, you, you got to know what you're doing. So um, really it's about knowing what you got to do when you get there and making sure you get there before the other team, the other opposing player. So it's just basically hard work and a lot of background knowledge. You're up there, Rob. Oh, I think Robbie's frozen right now. Yeah, I uh, think so. <laughs> uh, we'll just wait for Robbie to get back hooked up there, uh, Jamie. If I'm correct, too, I think you, we're, we're talking hockey. I've seen you do training and coaching on the baseball field as well, haven't I? Yes. Oh, yes. I've done volleyball in the high school. I've uh, minor softball, minor hockey, minor soccer, um, anything sports-oriented, really. Uh, I just literally came from uh, the Almont Arena where we were uh, doing sledge hockey with my uh, stepson. Uh, there's a group of um, athletes, uh, disabled athletes, that uh, get together once a week uh, in Almont, and we do that. And it's, it's lots of fun, a lot of new experiences for me and, and them as well, obviously. And, and I, I, I knew you just got off the ice. Is that where you were, where you were up in the... In, uh... Did you say in Elmont? Yeah. In Elmont. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. They have a sledge hockey team up there. Yes. Uh, we've. Uh, it works out that a lot of the surrounding um, group homes uh, that uh, 
that can give us one central area to go to. So there's groups from Carlton Place, Almont, Smith Falls, Perth, Carlton Place, and everybody kind of brings four or five. And before you know it, we've got enough for two teams. And there's, I think we had 10, 20, 22 of them this morning, two goalies and uh, 10 skaters aside. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Excellent, excellent. All righty. So I don't know what happened to Robbie there, but. Uh... How would you describe this first season? Um, from a coaching point, it's probably been one of the most relaxing years I've ever had. Just playing games on weekends is, uh, is less stressful, we'll say, as a coach. For sure, when you're coaching minor hockey, you uh, get done a game, and the first thing you do is you're trying to set up practice for the next night or the night after, and, and then you may have another game during the week, and then yet another practice. And then the weekend comes, and it's always filled with hockey, with minor hockey. So... The big thing um, for me is it's just been, I've been able to focus more just in, on the enjoyment of actually the game. Um, it's definitely nice to watch really competitive and really good hockey and being a part of it. Um, obviously the highest level I've ever coached, um, junior B prior to that, but uh, this is when they're all hitting their peaks uh, as a hockey player. So it's definitely exciting and, and a lot of fun. Please, what has made this first year so successful? Um, probably the commitment from the players. Um, you're allowed a 32-man roster, but we only utilize probably about 24 spots, maybe 25, um, just for the mere fact that we had a lot of players being committed to being here every weekend. So... Most weekends, you would run with, say, nine forwards and five defense and a couple of goalies. And then other weekends, when you would have the luxury of everybody, then you would have the options of, you know, 12 forwards and 6D and two goalies. But uh, that's been the biggest part, is I think, is that we've had probably 14, 15 guys there every week, every game. So we've had that familiarity with each other. They're all been friends at some point, somewhere down the line, growing up playing hockey together. So... And a lot of it's renewed friendship. So the excitement that the players get from that, just you're allowed to feed off of that as a, as a team, for sure. Please tell us a little bit about the local, the locals on the team. Our locals. Well, we actually have probably two, four, six, eight, nine, I believe nine, ten from town. And then we probably, the majority of everybody, probably 85% of everybody lives within 30 miles of Smith Falls. We do have some players that are obviously away with work and school and, and live up in Ottawa and whatnot. But uh, the majority, probably a good 80% of our players, 85 maybe, are, are literally within 30 miles. So that's made the commitment that much easier too for guys to commit to, to doing this every weekend. They got to go to work Monday to Friday, so it's a little different than kids playing hockey. And... I understand the playoffs are off to a tough start. What Very much. Would the, <laughs> what would the team have to have to different in getting off the way on Friday night to force a third game back? and Smith Falls on Saturday? Well, I know this might sound a little silly, but the biggest problem, I think, was that our players were literally too excited. Um, they were over-amped up. They were just not themselves, right? They're very excited when they come to the rink. They're very happy. They're very, you know, themselves and whatnot. But at the same time, the opportunity for something that we've, you know, we've, put our foot into and tried to step forward with is it's uh it's going to be difficult but at the same time we just need to be ourselves and get back to playing what we've done for 90 percent of our games this year and be fast be strong be more willing to do what the other players are doing again so that really what it boils down to and if we do that we handled uh a lot of the teams in the league because we wanted it more than they did so as much as you want something, you don't always have to be 
crazy emphatic about it, right? Just kind of be themselves, and and I think we'll be fine. Um, we've got great goaltending, great defense, amazing forwards. Being together, uh, working together as a group, will be. I think we'll be fine on Friday night, which would be set us hopefully up for Saturday, and we can actually uh, impress our fans this time as opposed to disappointing them. And being ourselves on on home ice is what's exciting. Thanks, coach, for joining us today. Good luck on Friday night. Thanks, Robbie. My pleasure. Oh, this has Have been great. Day. This has been great. Thank you very much, Robbie, my co-host here on, on FYI. And Jamie, thank you very much for taking time out of your day for everything no you problem. do. My goodness, thank you very much.